afternoon. Uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> now um, I'm going to talk uh, about uh, com community peer-led efforts in Eldoret, Kenya, specifically focusing on uh, Ampath uh, Plus, which is a USAID-funded uh, program in Western Kenya. Uh, we know that in Kenya the HIV epidemic began in um, in the early 1980s. Um, that's as per the Ministry of Health records, and at first it was around with a lot of myths, uh, mystery, and uh, Mis misconceptions, and it was not until in the early 21st century that uh, treatment was available in the in the public uh, uh, facilities. And as he has just mentioned, uh, I was uh, lucky to be the first one to be given treatment in a public hospital in Western Kenya. And um, this is basically the national structure of the HIV control program in Kenya, the, the national coordinating mechanism. And the purpose for showing this is that it's, it's to show you that it cascades all the way down up to the community level. And it's at the community level where the, uh, the people living with HIV are, are mostly actively involved in the activities. Now, the program that I work for is called AMPATH. It's an academic model providing access to healthcare. And it began in the early 2001 in one room in Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital, which is a national referral hospital in Western Kenya but it has since uh, spread to cover western uh, region of Kenya and serves a population of more than 3 million people. Um, uh, after AMPATH began, then um, I uh, launched a group called the AIM, the AIDS Interventions Movement, and uh, it was formed in July 2002, and it mobilized people living with HIV and AIDS to kind of uh, start talking and disclosing their status because there was a lot of stigma and nobody wanted to talk. If you came to the clinic at that time, many people would actually hide around the corner and when they hear the, the doctor mention their name, then they would dash in and immediately they were through with the doctor, they would run away as fast as possible so that nobody sees them around the clinic. So uh, later on, the group was split into two departments, that's psychosocial care and support and the outreach department and the psychosocial care and support department has continued to provide support group uh, uh, the therapy for um, patients that are being served by AMPATH. Um, both the department, the psychosocial care and support and the outreach departments are em employ people living with HIV who, who are being seen in those clinics and that's why they are peer led. Uh, even we, the managers of these departments are people living with HIV who receive care within the, the same program. Uh, the outreach department, uh, uh, in the outreach department we do default addressing and as we know that uh, adherence is key to maintaining no, uh, low viral um, uh, levels uh, and that uh, cascades into uh, uh, treatment as uh, prevention because if you are giving people treatment and they are not able to suppress the virus then you will not, they, they, if, if they uh, have unprotected sex they will transmit the virus to their partners. So currently in Kenya um, we, we have around 66,000 uh, new HIV infections per year. And as we know, normally uh, around a third of people with, uh, who know the HIV status are not in care. And people living with, with HIV, if they engage in care, can live much longer for years and even decades. Uh, and that there are also ma 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 maximum benefits. Um, for, 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 for one, to get ma maximum benefits from care, they need to regularly attend their clinics and also take their medications well. And then, uh, if you retain patients in care, you reduce um, the, um, the, the, the number of new in, uh, tra transmissions within the community. So the, co the, co the community viral load goes down and therefore there are fewer new infections if there's high retention in care. I think we had some presentation ab about retention uh, by, by the pre previous presenters. So, um, Again, the role of the outreach workers in maintaining treatment uh, and also uh, prevention uh, is that uh, among the new patients in care, we know that there's high mortality. It's almost it's twice as high as those who are um, on, on who who, are, who have been diagnosed for a long time, and that um, app appointment and an adherence is usually associated with uh, uh, high with virologic failure. The, the patients can su suppress the viruses. The clinical disease uh, pro progresses much faster, and most of the time you have very high mortality rates if people don't adhere to clinic and to, and to their treatment. 
Then, um, as I mentioned, in the Kenyan system, we have the community-based organizations, which is where the people living with HIV AIDS um, participate actively. And um, they are the ones who mostly lead these uh, organizations. They are usually registered and they operate within their own communities, so they advocate, they do advocacy within their own communities. They disseminate information on HIV prevention uh, to the general public within their communities. And they also distribute condoms to their members, which again uh, goes a, a long way in uh, pre uh, pro promoting prevention. They encourage their members to uh, continue with care and adhere to medications, which is key to uh, uh, prevention. They also em empower their members by initiating IGS, and this has even led some uh, uh, commercial sex workers, what I've abbreviated as uh, CSWs, from moving from com commercial sex work to more formal business, and to us that again goes a long way in, uh, in, in pro promoting HIV uh, prevention. This is just a map of the area that's covered by the program that I work in. We, we neighbor Uganda, so it's, it's, it's widespread. Um, so currently there are, there are 276 com community-based organizations in Western Kenya that we work together with, and their main roles is uh, pro uh, pre prevention advocacy, peer support, capacity building and IGS, net networking and linkages to other um, stakeholders and also condom distribution to their members and all these uh, go a long way in uh, promoting prevention. Just to conclude, I would like to say that uh, peer support is something that is unparalleled in any situation and uh, we really need to capitalize on that and this is uh, quote unquote, it's not scientific but uh, I believe that the key and, and the secret to uh, reducing new HIV infection lies not with the uninfected, but rather with those who are infected and, and have been tested and are in care. If we work with this group in a, in a, in a way that we, in a, in a synergistic way, we are able to reduce new HIV infections in the community with much better outcomes than if we focus on those who are not, or those who are not infected or those who don't know the HIV status. Thank you. I would like to acknowledge uh, the...